Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see pairing on premises environments to Azure VMware solution. In the previous video, we tried to deploy the Azure VMware solution private cloud, but we were not able to do it because I don't have the enterprise agreement or I'm not onboarded to the any client service provider subscription. I have a pay as you go subscription. Let's say we have successfully deployed our Azure VMware solution. Now we'll have to connect it to the on-premise environment. There is one thing called Express Route Global Reach, which connects our on-premise environment to the Azure VMware solution private cloud. The Express Route Global Reach connection is established between the private cloud Express Route circuit and an existing Express Route connection to the on-premise environment. So you need to have an existing express route connection and there would be an express route global reach connection which uh, between your private cloud that will be connected. It's not that uh, you cannot connect through VPN. We will discuss that later, but in this video, we will see how we can connect through express route global reach. So what are the prerequisites? You will have to have the Azure subscription as we discussed in the beginning of this video. You have a separate functioning Express Route circuit for connecting on-premise environment to Azure, which is circuit one for the peering. Ensure that all gateways, including the Express Route provider service, supports four byte autonomous system number, which is ASN. You have an Azure VMware solution, which uses four byte publics ASN for advertising routes. For example, if uh, we are advertising a default route to Azure, which is 0.0.0.0, you have to ensure the ensure a more specific route containing the on-premise networks is advertised in addition to the default route to enable management access to Azure. First step would be to create an express route auth key in the on-premise express route circuit. The circuit owner creates an authorization which creates an authorization key to be used by a circuit user to connect their virtual network gateway to the express route circuit. So let me just log on to the portal and show you what I'm talking about. I am logged on to the portal. I don't have an existing express route circuit, but so you click here. If you have an existing one, it's okay if you don't have an, so you create an express route circuit like this, but to create the connection between on-premise and the Azure VMware solution private cloud, you need to have an existing. Let's say I create, I'm just creating it. Is to is two and my instance do this. This is, I'm going to go with the default. So I don't have a provider, right? Let's say I have an Airtel. You need to have a pairing location, what kind of bandwidth you would use, standard, premium, okay? It's going to review it. So that is how you create an express route circuit if you do not have one right when you create an express route circuit there is an option to provide the authorizations right you have to create a new authorization which will create an authorization key which will be used by a circuit a user to connect to their virtual network gateway to the express route circuit let's say i create the express route circuit connection express route connection Till the time it is deploying, I'm going to show you what actually the authorization would look like, right? So let's say you, after the circuit was there, you created a new authorization, you got the new authorization key. After that, after creating the authorization key for the private cloud express route circuit, we can pair it with the on-premise express route circuit. So the pairing has to be done from the on-premise express out circuit in the Azure portal. So let's say my express out connection is circuit connection is there. You see this authorization tab under settings, click on it. 
you do not have any authorization you create a new authorization let's say i do new auth you click on save it's saving the authorization saving is done this is the new authorization and this is the authorization key you will copy it and then you will share it to have a connection right after that you will peer the private cloud to the on premises right as i said the peering is done from the on premises experts out circuit in the azure portal right so let's say we have shared this now if you will go to the if if the private cloud would have been created uh, there is an option called connectivity and then you have an express route global reach connection you have to add the new express route global reach connection and then we'll have to enter the express route id and the authorization key which we created here under authorization from this express route circuit when this would be created then you will have to verify how the connection is going so in the on premises edge router we should see where the express route connects the nsx dash t network segments and the azure vmware solution management segments remember there are three different subnets for three different components that azure vmware solution deploys all right so that is how you configure the or i would say peer the on premise environments to azure vmware solution i hope this was informative for all of you guys though we are not able to do the complete labs because of the kind of subscription that i have but i'm trying my best to show you and explain the details what are associated with it if you have still any further queries please mention in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day